Hey, it's James Robbins here, and in this video, I'm going to give you a simple five-step process that you can use to handle difficult conversations. So if you're a leader, a manager, or you own a business, uh, or you're married, and you find that sometimes you have to get into those difficult conversations, I'm going to share with you one of the most powerful frameworks I've ever heard, and it all has to do with shoes, all right? And one of the reasons why we want to make sure that we are handling difficult conversations well is because when we don't handle them well, it can create a whole lot of hurt, a whole lot of mess, and sometimes years of damage. But when we handle difficult conversations correctly, uh, we can bring people together, we can accomplish more things, uh, we can we can even build amazing teams. All right, so let me just go to my screen here. And like I said, this is all about shoes. In fact, the first time I learned this, I think was in uh, David Burns's book, uh, Feeling Good Together. I think that's where this came from originally. But I want you to think about this. Uh, it's all about shoes because Whenever somebody goes to have a difficult conversation, usually what happens is they have their agenda, right? So um, something happened and you get angry about it or as a, as a manager, you got to go talk to your staff about it or you got to talk to your spouse, whoever. You got to talk to your neighbor because dog, their dog is messing on your lawn. And we have this, this packet of truth that we want to get across to them. And, that just, and, and if we're elevated, it's like this burning inside of us. We just want to discharge that. We want to get this off of us and we want them to change and we want them to do better or whatever it might be. Now, you can do that, but usually that doesn't go well because there's what I call a golden rule when it comes to difficult conversations, and that's when someone feels attacked, they will defend. It's just part of our subconscious, right? If somebody attacks you, immediately you start to defend. Even if they're correct, you still defend, and then your, 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 uh, your, um, your brain has a chance to catch up and go, okay, maybe I better listen. So anyways, back to the shoes here for a minute. So here's the five steps uh, if you are going to get into a difficult uh, situation, uh, difficult conversation. So the first thing is is to take off your shoes. And this is, uh, think of it from the perspective of if somebody is uh, talking to you, right? So let's say somebody's bringing you a difficult conversation. Uh, the biggest thing is to take off your shoes. And when, what I mean by that, not your physical shoes, but you've got to step out of your life for a moment. And the reason is so that you can, number two, step into their shoes. And this, to be honest, is the most difficult part of a difficult conversation. It's taking somebody's shoes off, your shoes off, and stepping into their shoes so you can go, so you can understand their point, understand their thinking, understand their emotions, so that you can even validate it. And this is really difficult because it, especially when we're in a charged situation, we feel like maybe somebody's wronged us. The last thing we want to do is understand them. We just want an apology. And so we don't want to do this, but I'm telling you, if you really want an apology, your best route to apology is actually these five steps. All right, so you take off your shoes, you step into their shoes so you can feel what this is like. And then thirdly, what you do is you comment on how those shoes feel. One of the reasons we need to do this is because we're actually trying to open up the ears of the person that we're talking with. Because until somebody feels validated, until they feel like we get them, that we understand them, they're still going to be pressing their point. And they're pressing their point, we're pressing our point, and what's happening is nothing is getting resolved. And so somebody's got to bend first, right? Doesn't mean that you're losing, doesn't mean that you're giving up your point, doesn't mean you're compromising your truth, nothing like that. You're just stepping out of your shoes, stepping into them, and going and stepping into their shoes and going, ah, this 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 feels like this because once that gets communicated and they're like yes exactly now you know how i feel now you know what it's like to walk in my shoes now they can take a deep breath and feel like okay my case rests and now they're ready to listen and that's what you need you need somebody to listen to you in a difficult conversation at the same time the other the second thing that happens with this whole process is it helps you adjust your truth. In other words, you might have gone in there, so you're a leader and one of your staff hasn't done something and so you're going in there, you're charged up, like why haven't they done this? But when you find out the reason, then it may adjust your truth. Like, oh, it wasn't that they were lazy. It wasn't that they didn't care about my business. It was yeah, whatever, X, Y, and Z. So it can help you adjust your truth 
which you're about to speak to them because this is a really important step, right? So number four is you put your own shoes back on. So you step into your back into you and then you begin to assert your adjusted truth. So I'll give you an example. So um, I was uh, I was teaching this actually from the stage and later on, maybe it was uh, two days later, uh, my wife came to me and she said, hey, I've got something I want to talk to you about. And she started to talk to me about something that was hurting her feelings or whatever. And right away, just subconsciously, I, I started to feel defensive. And then she said, hold on, hold on, take your shoes off and step into my shoes. Cause she had been in my speech, right? And I was like, how dare you use my speech against me? But I knew she was right. And so again, that's the hard part. I stepped into her shoes how did they feel? And I'm like, ah, if I was you, I would probably feel this. She's like, yes, exactly. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm sorry. I would never want you to feel that. And then I was able to put my shoes back on and then talk to her about my truth. And that was adjusted truth, but it was like, hey, having said all that, now let me just share some things. But here's the difference. Now she was willing to hear that. Uh, because I first heard her. So that's the, the fascinating thing about communication and difficult conversations. It really does come down to discharging some of the emotion that's in them. And you can use that five step, that five steps I just walked you through uh, about shoes. Uh, and that's going to get you uh, a long ways. Listen, if you would like more tips and tools to grow as a leader, then head on over to my website, jamesrobbins.com, where you can sign up for our weekly leadership tools, which come to your inbox each week and help you lead with excellence.